Hey folks, Alex from XGR here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Sense, uh, Top Hat Studios, and why I think they are geniuses, and why I think some of this contro controversy is bullshit. So if you guys don't know, Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story, is a game that's going to be releasing on the Nintendo Switch on January 7th. Um, so there's, there's a little bit of controversy around this game, primarily because uh, it features women, particularly women with uh, big boobs. This is Top Hat Studios' official Twitter page, and uh, as you can see, they made a statement regarding censorship demands of Sense and Cyberpunk, uh, so Cyberpunk Ghost Story. So people are demanding that this game gets censored. Yeah. Okay, so let's 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 dive into this a little bit. Um, they say here that uh, let us be clear on this: we will not censor the game because of self-centered crowds who care solely about grandstanding. We categorically and absolutely refuse to restrict creative expression. Now, I applaud Top Hat Studios for making a statement like this. I think that censorship in any creative medium is. Uh, wrong we should have the freedom of expression right so um yeah so i applaud them on that um let's just go over to uh the image of the comments that they were getting um from many you can see there's a lot of comments here but i'm gonna go highlight a couple um Okay, so over here we have, uh, these are comments that were sent in to Top Hat Studios, mind you. So this one says, if I find my child playing this, expect both you and Nintendo to hear from both me and my loggy. So this person obviously didn't know how to spell lawyer, which is something I've come to expect with people that are demanding censorship. This one says, you'll be happy to know regarding your misogynistic game, in quotation, in why they use quotations, I don't know. I have already contacted Nintendo warning them of your sexist pornographic game. How this got approved in this first place is a mystery. Sexist and pornographic. Let's go, let's go back to the Steam page on this game and see if it's sexist or pornographic. Let's look at the pictures here. Now, I don't see anything sexist or pornographic about any of this, to be honest. So I don't know what they're talking about. Let's let's go over a little bit more. Like, I mean, of course, the 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 protagonists have large kahunas kahunas. They have large boobs. Um, kahunas are balls, I think. So <laughs> they have large boobs, not balls. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't see anything really sexist, misogynistic, pornographic here. I really don't. So now we're back here, and uh, let's see. Uh, this one says, kill yourself for giving, giving these right-wing fags a platform. Okay, now that is something I would expect from someone who's right-wing, is to use the word. I'm not even going to repeat it, because I think that word is atrocious. But... Uh, yeah, the, the, these are death, not, this is wishing death upon the, these people, so that's messed up, and then over here we see rot in hell, absolutely sick, you feel okay, encouraging rape and violence against women and children, misogynistic dogs. I don't know what's encouraging rape or violence against women and children. I don't. I don't see it. Maybe if I played the game, uh, I I would see uh, something more here. But at the moment, I don't see anything. Here's the original post. Uh, not the original post, but the, here's the post that they made in response to people saying, "Oh, this is fake. This is BS. This is just for marketing." So. It says here, we originally did not want to make this post as to not accidentally incite a search for these posters and cause further fights. However, as there are now industry adjacent people slandering, gaslighting us as liars, we've compiled the sampling from Twitter, FB, and email. Okay, so 
there are actually uh, people calling Top Hat Studios liars for um, saying that they've been receiving this backlash. And, you know, I'm just going to first and foremost say that Top Hat Studios, they're not liars. I don't think they're liars. I think this controversy is very real. However, I think that they're probably blowing it out of proportion. Um, so if we go to back to this Steam page, um, we can see the reviews for this. Okay, and we can go down here and check out the reviews for this game. So, okay, first of all, let's highlight something here. Overall reviews, very positive. Recent reviews, very positive, 90 reviews. Okay, so this one says, I bought this game to reward Top Hat Studios for giving a big middle finger to the SJW cancel mob on Twitter who are trying to get the game censored. I wish more publishers, devs would do that instead of constantly bending the knee to them. Um, and that's just one of many examples. There's, there's, there's so many examples that say that. So I bought this game just to help the devs for choosing to ignore the hate mob actually keep their vision like you can go down here and you'll see like just the overwhelming positive response through because they made a post on Twitter about uh, being categorically against uh, uh, censorship in video games um, stifling their creative expression they are so smart okay so essentially what I think is going on is that Top Hat Studios is blowing this all out of proportion so that they can market their game. That doesn't mean they're liars. I think the controversy is very real. I do think that it's playing into their favor though because of their comment about um, being against censorship. Now there are videos on the topic that, uh, well, including this one, that are actually going to further Top Hat Studios uh, gain here because uh, we're all shedding awareness of this game. Every single YouTuber that has made a um, that has made a video on this topic, they're all shedding awareness on this game. A game that many people haven't heard of before this controversy leaked. So I find that very interesting. There, there are so many comments online saying that they never heard of this game. They didn't know what, what this game was until all of this news broke about people wanting to censor it. So it's really playing into Top Hat Studios' favor, and it's why making a Twitter post like they did is only going to benefit them. So not only are they shedding awareness, but they're also touting themselves as this studio that's completely against censorship and as many people know the vast majority of gamers are against censorship in their video games that's basically all i wanted to say uh, i just think that top hat studios are geniuses um, i do think that this controversy is real this backlash is real but I do also think that it's playing into Top Hat Studios' favor. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. What do you think? Do you think that uh, Top Hat Studios is doing a good job? Do you think that their game is complete uh, misogynistic pornographic material? Uh, what do you think? I'd like to hear from you. So leave a comment down below uh, giving us your opinion on the matter. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like uh, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you can. So, uh, yeah, with that, it's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.